What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sonic Attack once again, and I have good news. Instead of one episode of Rig Wars featuring awesome rigs from all over the internet, we're going to have two episodes, and this is for a very particular reason, and that's because we need to separate farms from rigs. The distinction is essentially going to be that if you have more than one motherboard, one motherboard running your system or your uh, rigs it's going to be essentially a farm if you have one motherboard running no matter how many GPUs in either one of these then you can enter into rig wars because if you have a rig that's running 19 GPUs then good for you and let us know if it's running 24 7 stably so because that being said, the submissions are going to be the same. All you have to do is either email submissions at sonofatech.com with a couple pictures, all of your parts in your rig, and your hash rate. Or you can submit by clicking the submissions link in the description below, and it will take you to sonofatech.com slash submissions or submit your rig. So once you've done that, we'll get you into the running for either Rig Wars or Farm Wars. Farm Wars will air on Sundays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Without further ado, let's get into episode 20 of Mining Rig Wars. Starting things off, we have Rig A Multicoin by Kevin. To vote for him, make sure you click the exclamation point up in the corner and click the poll to vote for your favorite rig for the week. He's rocking four Sapphire RX 470 Mining Editions with a single EVGA GTX 1070 Superclock Black Edition and MSI RX Vega 56 with 8GB of ballistic memory on a Z270A motherboard. He has the 1000W EVGA power supply and a G4400 processor. His total hash rate is 160 mega hash a second. Moving on to Rig B, he wins in name alone, low power, high hash. Thanks for the reference. And he's rocking eight MSI RX 574 gigabytes with the Biostar TB250 BTC motherboard, four gigabytes of memory on a Celeron 1151 socket. I'm sure he means either a G3930 or a G4400. And just, I'm not sure exactly which one because he didn't specify. He has the Aurum which I've never heard of, PT1200 Platinum PSU power supply, 1200 watts, with 160 gigabyte hard drive and eight risers, unspecified which versioning. And the frame is homemade, which looks like aluminum angle, so good job on that. 216 mega hash a second is the number there. Rig C is Genesis rig, which is featuring the Genesis mining case and six GPUs that are from Colorful, the GTX 1066 gigabyte versions, an unspecified Intel Pentium, which I assume since he's running the MSI H270A would once again have to be a G3930, or a G4400, something along those lines. He has the EVGA 1000 watt power supply and 120 gigabyte solid state drive. The total hash rate is 144 mega hash a second. Rig D is named Fire Cabinet, awesome name man. He's got a single i5 4460, clocked at 3.4 gigahertz, with eight gigabytes of DDR3 G-Skill rip jaw, series memory, a single ASUS Dual RX 580 8GB with Samsung memory, and a single Sapphire Nitro RX 484 gigabyte with Hynix memory. The former has 830 hash a second and the latter is sporting 700 hash a second. I assume that he's on Monero or some sort of XMR type coin and he's also burst coin mining with 3 terabytes of hard drives so pretty awesome stuff here. Moving on to Rig E, Royal Flush. Finally here, we have some really clean fans. They are the Noctua fans and I love the look of them. Even especially with that brown kind of line going atop the rig here. I wish he would have left the little brown uh, corner pieces on, but uh, you know, I guess I can't complain too much. He has six EVGA 1070 Super Clock Black Editions, two EVGA Supernova G2 750 watt power supplies, six Mint Cell 006C risers, five Noctua fans that we mentioned earlier, 
the Corsair Commander Pro fan controller, an ASRock H81 going old school here Pro BTC motherboard with a Celeron G1840 processor. He has a Samsung Evo 250GB SSD and 4GB of G-Skill Ripjaw series memory running Windows 10 Pro with a total of 2,680 solutions a second. This is a very good GTX 1070 build, an Equihash build. This is what was pretty much getting pumped out every day there for a while once people started running out of RX 480s and 580s and it did quite well. So this is a very good example build. You can check it out in the description below. Please try to use the Amazon affiliate links because I get a kickback on it. I have no complaints here. Even the cable management is done beautifully with a nice fan controller of course. So it's just a really pleasing build to the eye. That can't be really said for Rig D Fire Cabinet, which is aptly named uh, by Natan. I think that right here we could do a little bit more with the cable management to get that cleaned up. And of course, I would worry about reliability as far as keeping the rig running 24-7. And I bring this up because the processor is a little weak, uh, even though it's still an i5. Uh, it seems like it would still be hard for it to be mining burst coin alone. A lot of people, when they reach a certain point, and I know he's not here yet, but once you're over like 8 terabytes on burst coin, you start one of moving towards using a low power GPU to do the actual hard drive mining, something like a GT730 along those lines. And once he gets to that point, it's gonna be very hard to keep the system both mining uh, with the GPUs as well as mining the burst coin and not accelerating with some other sort of more powerful GPU solution over mining burst coin with the 4460. Rig C is beautiful photography and I wish you guys could all submit like this. I am a little curious if it is actually him because it's almost a little too beautiful. So we'll we'll just we'll just take his word for it at this point. But that Genesis mining case I've seen and I believe you guys have probably seen all over the internet before. The build here though as far as parts is a very good uh, GTX 1060 build. Like I've mentioned before, the things with the 1060 is it's uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't, depending on if you get Samsung memory. Um, and that's just going to be for Ethereum in particular. And seeing that he is mining Ethereum, I'd be curious how many of those ended up being Samsung and how many of those ended up, you know, not being, being Micron or something else of the sort. Now, I don't really have any complaints here. The cable management is very clean. It's right on par with Rig E and is looking real good. And that continues. All of these submissions are getting much better and this is one of the reasons I really wanted to split up like rigs to farms because the rigs are gonna be, uh, we're, they're just more pleasing to the eye and there's something we can digest. So it's really cool to kind of split these up. Rig B in particular is a perfect frame kind of guide for you guys of what you're looking at if you're trying to build a custom frame using those uh, aluminum angle brackets just work really really well actually that's not even an angle bracket now that I look at it, it does look like a tube and I guess he's using uh, some brackets uh, some corner brackets on the side to keep it together so a little bit different but still the same basic idea it's a very good example of an ethereum build an earlier ethereum build like last June when you're able to get RX 570s pretty easily so keep that in mind if you're looking at this they're going to get a little bit more expensive of course and I, I don't have anything wrong with this I think it's a perfect example of uh, I, what would I call it best practices for uh, mining rig builds and then finally rig a multi coin here's one of those rigs where I say cool you're getting your hands on whatever GPUs you can get and I used to do this a lot and I do mixed card rigs the problem is is you lock yourself into Ethereum and, and wait the reason for that is because Ethereum has Claymore and Claymore seems to play nice with mixed card rigs and that kind of ends up also hurting you because that Vega 56 would be much better suited towards a, an XMR type coin. So we're talking about CryptoNote, but in particular Monero. And the GTX 1070 would be better on Equihash and the RX 470 would be better on Ethereum. But if you start trying to split those up and run three separate instances of a miner, like even in Windows 10 or even in Linux as well, you're gonna start bringing up a lot of issues with just reliability. You're not gonna have that good 24 seven kind of mining 
reliability and that's just going to give you headaches so that's where i kind of have a little bit of beef with this particular rig the framing's very nice though i will say that once again this is the actual aluminum angled bracket rig here so that's a good setup as far as getting an idea of how to build one of those for yourselves but i'd recommend if possible splitting all those up and then just buying more of the same type of card if you're looking at trying to get these running 24 7 that's all of my thoughts on all of these rigs hope you guys enjoyed this episode of mining rig wars it's the 20th episode support us to keep the show going by purchasing a t-shirt or using the amazon affiliate link in the description and i will see you next tuesday